Are <laughs> sorry, <laughs> 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 cough. Sorry. That's what happens when you get an Oshawa school education. Song, don't you? I, I, I'm slightly familiar. Oh my god, he has a lighter. I love Steve Brown. I love this song. This is amazing. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to join you for this, George. I, I, I'm, I'm into this. Let's have some fun. I don't want to put the lighter too close to Hayes' fabric because it may ignite. You know what? I'll join in. Hold on. Yeah, it might be a bit of a fire hazard I there. I'm never scared. Why, when you sing it, does it sound so much? more country. It's absolutely horrible. That it is. However, what is not horrible is Bone Crusher Steve Brown making his way to the ring here. He's got some words for us. Let's hear what he has to say. I'm, I'm afraid of what he has to say. Would you shut up? The man is about to speak. All right. <laughs> That's it? That's all he got is all right? So. <laughs> oh. Is that right here? Nice big belt, buddy. Oh. I don't think he bought his from a merch I want to dignify that, sir. I have multiples. Multiples. And the brown belt I got from your mom last night. Oh! Oh! That's definitely going to be censored. Here, on the back, you know, my dad, I didn't get a match announced, but I assure you, I am wrestling tonight, and I'm going to have a match, and I can't freaking wait, because you guys have been so nice to me. <laughs> we have? I mean, that you one guy has, up. but everyone else has. Wait, I know this song. What? Oh my god, yes. Oh my, that's Kung Fu Logan Savage. That's Kung Fu Logan Savage. That's one of Steve Brown's best friends. These guys at one time were a tag team called Shake and Bake, dominated here in Ontario. Look at this, oh my goodness. The crowd doesn't know what to make of this. I am having the time of my life. <laughs> Come on, where's your where's your lighter now? This song really doesn't qualify a lighter, I don't know. No, no, I don't no. I don't think great song, but great song, yeah, but definitely does not. We qualify love you, a Savage! Here. You, hold the big one. you are such an ass kiss. Oh. And I'll hold the little one. Because he is big. How's it going, everybody? Woo! How does everybody feel? Yeah! I feel better oh, now. What? I don't know. <laughs> That's good. I haven't done this in a while, so let's see if the rust comes off. I haven't talked in front of a crowd. I'm a little nervous, you know, so whatever. But I'm here for this man. 20 years in the business. Oh, give it up. Give it up. Yeah. Steve Brown has been in wrestling for 20 years. Fuck, I'm blown up. <laughs> 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 And he started <laughs> training right here in Brampton with his trainer, Ted Herbert. Let's give it up for his trainer. Nice, nice. No, he's not. Unfortunately. But this is Steve Brown's life. Oh, my everybody. God. Yeah. We're going to take a little trip down memory lane. Hello, Mom. How are you? So Steve created a company called NSW, and he also made the leaders of the new school. And I'm one 
of those leaders. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Steve, we were we were tag team partners, shake and bake, right? Yeah. Oh. Woo! Yeah. I never did figure out which one the shake and which one's the bake, though. Whichever one it was, thankfully it was not Let's you. I oh, I wish I was shaking. Now, we're gonna we're gonna introduce somebody else from Steve's career. Who's that gonna be? Oh my God! Yeah, no, it's he's definitely another not you. tag team partner of yours. He also trained with you right here in Brampton. Let's give it up for Brampton, everybody. Woo! <laughs> yeah, okay. Nah. Uh, this man, I mean, he's like a brother to you. Yeah, he's, <laughs> no, I am your brother. But, you know, you might, you might call him uh, skinny fat. <laughs> so that inside joke. So uh, let's, uh, let's cue up the music. Of the man. Adam Reed! Adam Reed's in the building! I feel like this is 2006 all over again! You know, when wrestling was good and none of you morons were in it. <laughs> One half of Egos and Icons. Egos and Icons. That's right! Yeah, baby! Woo! Oh, he has one. So, you see. <laughs> How you How you this is all gonna get cut. Uh, no way, he's he's jacked. He's jacked. Yeah, he, he's so jacked. Even now. Yeah, I tried. I tried to throw you off the descent. You did. Yeah, yeah. All right. What else, what, what have you done with Steve besides tag team partners? You were also in the leaders. I was in the leaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tag team. Yeah, 2006. 2006, number one tag team of the year. Let's give it up for Eagles and Icon one more time. They, they took on the Flatliners, destroyed them. No, never. Never. No. <laughs> All right, the next guest on This Is Your Life, Steve. This man. <laughs> No. Was also your tag partner, also trained with you. He was also in NSW. He is one of the best inner city title holder <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Let's bring him up. Oh my goodness. Look at this. The St. Stephen Elias. Throwback now to 2003. My goodness. Look at him. Still rocking the shades. Still can't get in the ring. <laughs> wow. Actually, it looks like you when he's trying to get in the ring. Wow. First of all, I am much more handsome, much more jacked. Well, this, mean, is, this is you. nice. This is a really cool thing, you know? On, what, I can't, wait, they, I can't wait till they do this for me in, tw like, in the next couple of years when I hit yeah. 20. When you hit 20. <laughs> Nobody's going to come to that, Hayes. Hold on. Skinny fat is no lie. But it's so fitting that we're here in Brampton. It's so great. This guy is 20 years in the business. Because literally five minutes down the road was where we trained. At Dixie Road in Steels, in a place that was literally smaller than here, like maybe from there to where that guy's standing. Jeffrey, how are you doing, buddy? <laughs> See, we've been up and down the road, we've been all over the place. We've been up north, we've been down south. Hell, we were the first ever NSW Tag Team Champions. Close and selfish. 2XS! <laughs> that stands for 2 times C, by the way. Stevie E and Stevie B. He destroyed everybody back in the day. 
in a little gym where nobody was watching. But it was fantastic. You love this flashback! A lot of <laughs> a lot of people owe you a lot, my friend. Absolutely, absolutely. Anybody right. here holding this? Steve Brown! Steve Brown! Steve Brown! Steve Brown! Steve Brown! This man started NSW and gave so many, so many of your favorites a shot. Definitely gonna have to bleep that out. 100% bleep that out. Memo to our editor bleep that out. Steve's mom, Steve's mom, Steve's mom, Steve's mom, Steve's mom. No, we're live, pal. Let's do it. Celebration here for Steve Brown. What? What? what the? Oh. I didn't even know Travis Moore. I didn't even see him walking around with that broom. Oh! oh. What? What? Well, Travis Moore went from pro wrestler to janitor because of the matchmaker here. Well, he's a little bit upset because he got to clean all this up. Well, Steve Brown is. Steve Brown has had some issues with Travis Moore in the past, to say the least. Yeah, Travis Moore not very happy with the celebration here this evening. Whoa! Not a no, good idea. I can understand well, the frustration. No, he's a dead man. Call 911. This is over. That's your new opponent. Uh, Steve Brown's not going to take too kindly wait, to wait, this Steve, disrespect. Wait, wait, Steve's a forgiving guy. Look. Steve Brown just told him, I'll clean it up. Look, I'll clean it up? Well, oh, Steve, Steve Brown's going to No, no, no. Yeah. yeah uh, no. And Trump oh. with a choke slam. Oh. Travis Moore completely I think he's frozen stuck. in space. He slammed him so hard he's in the multiverse. I'm sorry that there's so much levity and fun times, but I was coming out of here to announce that I am accepting the Mark Ass Buster Challenge. Whoa! Okay. Because I'm a Mark Ass Buster Buster, so bring it on out. Does that mean Adam Hayes is leaving? Yes, it does. It means Adam Hayes is leaving. Nice. Thank God. Yes. Pop the champagne, George. You know what's interesting about this? During our prediction show, I said that the other undefeated man in, in New Frontier should come out and challenge the Mark Ass Buster, and that's Steve Brown. He's 4-0. He's 4-0. That's it. 
This is it. We're going to find out who the best wrestler is here in New Frontier, and I cannot wait. Neither can I. However, Adam Hayes running straight from the announce table over to Tarek, almost as if to, to stop him. Well, he, he might have some concerns in this contest here. Of course he has concerns. Look at the sizes. Brown. Steve Brown is triple the size of Tarek. Listen, Tarek's one hell of an athlete. We talked about it earlier. Oh, absolutely. But you cannot deny the power and the 20 years of Steve Brown in this business. Oh, absolutely. Incredible ring intelligence, a ring general in every sense of the word. The experience always comes into play as well. Is but he just begging right now? I, uh, begging Steve Brown? I mean, he's someone who's used to being on his knees, isn't he? Wow, I really do like you, Kevin. You can come back anytime. Thanks, George. I appreciate it. Does that come with a paycheck by chance? Uh, no, you're, you're still an intern. Uh, okay, okay. I can talk to the matchmaker. They'll see if we get you like a glass of Coke or something. Like a hot dog wouldn't, wouldn't suck. You know? Uh, Slice of pizza. Cold pizza? Like two-day-old pizza? Uh, one day. We'll see what happens. One day. We'll see what happens. Microwaved? Okay, fine, Michael. Okay, Michael. thank you, thank you. Right. But you know, that's neither here nor there. Tarek and Steve Brown, as you were saying, the only two undefeated competitors here in New Frontier Pro Wrestling. And we're about to see who the, uh, the best is right now. Whoever wins this match will be the only undefeated man here on the New Frontier roster. And look at that, Tarek right there hiding for the hills. The power of Steve Brown overwhelming. Absolutely, a lot on the line in this contest here. Adam Hayes taking a moment to consult. I don't really know Tarek. if he's insulting when he's telling Tarek everything he already knows. He's got size. He's got strength. Yeah, we know that. We, he doesn't need Adam Hayes to tell him. Oh, that he definitely does not. Tarek is one hell of a competitor. But see what Tarek has that unfortunately Steve Brown doesn't. Speed. Absolutely. Speed. I'm not going to say more, more power because Steve Brown definitely has a power game on lock, unfortunately, against anybody who goes up in the ring. Oh, absolutely. But Tarek has that, a fair at, amount of power himself. Steve outpowering Tarek at the moment. And Steve Brown just giving him a little bit of space there. However, the speed of Tarek coming into play there. But look at how well he absorbed that shot. Wow! Just dropped Tarek on his ass. What hey, hey guys, if you want to just hit the guy in the purple jacket, I would be glad. Please, please guys. Yeah, please, thank you so much. Well, you know, he used to play Barney, but he got fired for questionable actions. So, I mean, he very, uh, he may very well have been. However, Steve Brown still taking it to Tarek. You know, if Tarek wants to get in control of this contest, he's going to want to create some distance between the much larger Steve Brown. But can he really do that, Kevin? I mean, is there anywhere safe for that ring that Tara can go that Steve Brown's not going to be? I mean, not for long. However, if he can keep using that speed to his advantage, he can stay at least five feet away from Steve at any given moment. But Steve Brown still taking it to Tarek in that corner. Well, you know what's frustrating about this for Tarek and for Hayes is that this was unscouted. Oh, yes. Mark chance is usually unscouted but they can always kind of have a game to think. I don't think either of them expected Steve Brown to issue the challenge before they came. Oh, that they weren't, especially after the events earlier this evening with that trios championship match. I'm sure Hayes thought Tarek was done. However, that big body slam from Steve Brown taking even more out of Tarek. Well, here's the thing. Tarek may have just won the trios championship, but can he defend it? Will he have to relate to it after being in the ring with Steve Brown? Time's going to tell. One thing at a time. We'll have to find out soon enough. Currently, the trio's... Did you just see the ring move? Oh, yeah. With ease. With ease. Absolutely. The power. And there it is. The ring might have just moved a bit more. However, Tarek, this is the opening he was looking for. If he can keep on hitting with those quick, powerful strikes to Steve Brown, he can tear... He can chop down that great Redwood. Chop it down or not, Steve Brown though is not going to take, he's going to absorb those shots. Steve Brown is great at absorbing those shots. Right now though, he looks he looks a little worse for the wear, but I think Tarek, see, this right now is not good. Yeah, Tarek is, is pandering to the crowd. You don't want to leave Steve Brown alone for that one. No, you never want to leave a competitor as powerful and as terrifying as Steve Brown any sort of room. However, Tarek doing the smart thing, going right back to it. But again, taking a moment to catch his breath, which is also a moment for Steve Brown to catch his breath. Oh, you better. Here we go. And no, there, he took oh, too long. Yeah, Steve Brown catching him there. Oh, oh and that shot. stiff forearm to the temple of Steve Brown. Tarek going up through the ropes. Steve Brown catches him with a fire and carry, oh. and he drops him with a Death Valley driver. Going Could for this the be cover. the end? Oh, and we were just.
just moments away on, from Tarek's undefeated streak ending. What's, what, what surprises me, though, is that how nervous Hayes was. And then has to go back and reaffirm two. It was only a two. What the joke's like? Oh, it's Steve. Tarek and Steve, oh, Steve taking him up for a choke slam, but Tarek having it scouted, chopping the arm and getting rid of any power Steve Brown has. That agility is so, whoa, and there it is with that disaster kick. But Steve Brown still on his feet, not taking him down all the way. Oh, and we saw this earlier this and evening, that championship oh. match, that signature elbow drop. He's completely crushing the larynx of the Bone Crusher. Going for the cover, this could be it here. And a kick out by Steve Brown, the 20 year veteran. <laughs> now Tarek trying to recreate another game plan here to make sure he stays in control. No, he's calling for it, he's calling, but Steve Brown is, is back up to his feet now. Steve Brown almost up there. Tarek might be taking a little bit too much time here. And yep. Steve Brown catching him right, right by the throat, taking him up and down with the choke this slam. This could be it. Going for the cover, two, and oh my god. I really thought the Mark Ass Buster, somebody please get this idiot off the mat, please. No, he's got no reason to be up there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, oh, yes. No, Steve Brown doing what we all want to see, but this could come back to haunt him. But this is not a good idea for Steve Brown right now. Focusing attention on Hayes is giving Tarek some more recovery time. Yeah, Tarek is now on the opposite corner, up to his feet, only stalking the Bone Crusher as he has his hands full. And Steve turning around and right into that stiff forearm from Tarek. Look at how quick Tarek is from one corner to the other like that. Oh my God, the knee to the back of the head. Steve, Steve Brown's gotta, gotta be, be out, out cold. Gotta be out, absolutely. Oh, oh but Tarek, he's got, he's got more plans here. No, he knows you gotta do a lot more than that to put Steve Brown away. You gotta do two of these. I think we're gonna see another one of those nasty knees to the back of the head. And this is gonna be it here, Tarek. And still undefeated. Wow, you know what? I can't believe it. And look at, look at Hayes, and he did something. Oh, please hit him, guys, hit him. Oh. I mean, Tarek proving why he is one of the hardest hitters in all of Ontario with this win here. Pulling double duty, winning the trios championship earlier, and then pulling off a very impressive singles win here. And now look at Hayes. Picking the bones after Steve Brown's on the ground, talking all kinds of smack. So disrespectful. So disrespectful. Absolutely. On to the, to the on his 20-year anniversary, Adam Hayes. Does this guy have any integrity, any sort of respect for anyone but Not himself or his? No disrespect to Tarek, but Adam Hayes' meal ticket? No, none at all. All right, congratulations to Tarek. The only undefeated competitor here in uh, New Frontier Pro. What's that, what's that bring his record up to? Seven, eight, 10, 12, 30? It was a hell of a fight. It was a hell of a war. Steve Brown didn't get the win tonight. Tarek stays undefeated. It is what it is, but the landscape of New Frontier has now changed with only one man being undefeated in the entire company. A man who could potentially be at a straight shot to face Cranio X for that grand championship. Absolutely. And that's a contest that, quite frankly, I can't wait to see after seeing Tarek take it to a super heavyweight like Steve Brown. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know what? All the action here has been phenomenal. Absolutely. While Tarek celebrates and Hayes does whatever Hayes does. Yeah, Hayes the is going to be Hayes. has been incredible, and you can only find the action on Fight TV exclusively. New Frontier Pro. Get into it. This is Kevin the Intern on loan for BWO. We've got one hell of a night so far. Absolutely. Between shit talking Hayes. Life has been pretty good. Don't forget, the shirt is exclusively available at Straight Talk Radio.